almost three and a half thousand displaced people have been successfully relocated from the UN Protection of Civilians site in Juba to a new site within the community in a joint effort between the United Nations Mission in South Sudan and humanitarian agencies. The relocation of the families followed an unmissed negotiated end to sporadic fighting between various groups within the UN camp over the past few weeks that threatened vulnerable civilians inside. Once a resolution was reached and people expressed a desire to leave, Humanitarian agencies and UNMIS worked quickly to upgrade and establish temporary housing at Mangatin in the central city. The head of the mission was among those erecting tents and organising support for the families. It was a big effort because they had to be moved very quickly. Uh, we believed that they were in danger where they, where they were uh, and that meant everybody had to pull together. So they had humanitarians, the peacekeepers all working together to put up tents, to locate the site, to liaise with the government who were very cooperative, to get machinery in to build latrines and water points. Uh, a very successful operation done in a very short time. Within days of the relocation, life is bustling in the new site. Drains are being dug by UNMIS engineers, a new water point has been installed, a health clinic is being equipped and a daycare centre is operating. While life is still grim, there is hope. Yeah, we hope peace will come. That's why we trust our leader. He's going to bring us here. We trust him about peace and about our nation. We're going to be good for the future time. The UN mission is also working to help other displaced families across the country who have the trust and confidence that it is safe enough to return to their homes. Well, people came into the, the protection of civilian sites because they felt their lives were at risk. As the situation improves and as the peace process evolves, uh, the situation is changing. Camps are terrible pe places for particularly families and bringing up children. So the more that we can move people voluntarily to their own, to their own places and, and set up again, uh, the better. Uh, so we're working now to make sure that that momentum continues where it's possible for them to feel safe. And that is really the responsibility of the government ultimately. They have to be in charge of that security to make these people feel secure and safe enough to move out. While camp life is still a challenge, it is at least the first step on the long journey towards the ultimate goal of returning to their own villages to live safe and dignified lives.